Hey everybody, Adam with Fanic here. Uh, today we're going to do a quick and fun one. Um, I seem to get this question a lot and I'm shocked I never made a video on it. So today we are going to talk about how can I view a teach pendant program uh, using something like a word editor, uh, like Notepad or something. Um, obviously Fanic does have an option, if you didn't know, called ASCII Uploader. Um, the ASCII Uploader allows you to modify or create programs using a word editor uh, like Notepad or Notepad++, you know, pick your favorite, and then it'll convert that file into a .tp file, which is what the robot needs to run, is .tp. Well, when you're taking backups of the robot, um, you run a backup, and what do you get? You get .tp files, which if you try to open them, if you've ever tried to open them, it does not end well. <laughs> There's nothing to see. Uh, I think it just shows up as like a bunch of wingding hieroglyphics. So how can I take a backup of this robot and actually read my code with human eyes on a computer? Well, let me show you one really easy way um, without having to buy anything, without purchasing options, right? We don't want to have to pay to read this robot. All right, so here is a program that I wrote a while ago um, in one of my tutorials. It's a little dance program. Robot having the time of its life. It's almost Christmas. It's happy. It got its letter to Santa. It knows it's getting new grease and batteries. I want to see what this program looks like. Well, the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your directory is set and that you have a USB stick ready to go. We can talk about FTPing and PCs later, but right now, grab a USB stick, let it be blank, put it in the robot controller door, then go to your file, file, as if you are about to take a regular backup, and we have the option to set a device. Now, normally by default, this thing will probably say something like MD if you've, if you've not already changed this before. But if your USB stick is in the door, you will press the F5 utility key, set your device, and we want it USB disk. I, I remember as door, <laughs> USB on the door, UD. Um, and then USB on teach pendant is UT, so teach pendant backup, door pen backup, pick your favorite. All right, so now the robot directory is set to push everything to the USB on the door. Now let's go to my programs, and let's say I want to view my dance. Here's the downside of doing everything free. You got to do them one at a time. It's manual, it's labor intensive, but watch how quick it is. I want to view dance. Press the next key, the arrow over, and you see this option to print. I'm going to press print. There's the program name. It'll, it'll ask if I want to change the name. I don't want to change the name. Just press enter. Done. That's it. Just print, enter. Done. Now, let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to hide my teach pendant. Don't need that. If you were on a real robot, you just pull out the USB and you're done. But let me show you on RoboGuide what this would look like. Tools and then Project Folder. So I want to open up my, my folder here. Here's my robot folder. And here's the UD1. Pop this guy open. And what do we see? Uh, looks like I've already taken some backups, so sorry about that. But within my backups is this guy. Uh, if this log had been blank, um, I guess I should have made sure it was clear first. Sorry. Um, if I had a blank USB, the only thing on there would have been dance. But let's go ahead and open dance and show you what it looks like. Ta-da. I'm opening it with notepad. You can see some important header information here about program size and dates and everything, stack size, blah, blah, blah. 
Um, this is just all our header in information. But then here's the actual program. Override, position, 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 shows everything. And then how cool is this? You can look and say, oh, position one, where is that? Bam, shows me the frame, the tool, configuration, and where it is in Cartesian coordinates. Next, position two, position three, position four. So when you print an LS file, you're not just getting the TP code, right? On a, when you look at the TP, this is all you see, bam. When you print it, you get all the header, you get all the positional data. It's actually a really nice tool. Um, so without any options like the ASCII uploader, there's nothing you can do. Like if I were to modify this and try and send it back into the robot, nothing's going to happen. But with ASCII uploader, I could feasibly take this program and start modifying it, editing it, you know, putting conditionals in, whatever, and then upload that LS back into the robot and the robot will convert it to a TP. But that's a, another topic for another time. Right now, I just want you to be able to view your programs free and cheap and easy using Notepad. And this is how you do it. Thanks so much, guys. Have an awesome day and have fun coding.